All right, so put away your calculators and let's see how much basic math you know or remember. Okay, so here is the problem that we're going to be doing. So we have brackets 3 minus 11 in parentheses plus 2 times 5 minus 6 in parentheses bracket divided by 8 minus 10 in parentheses. All right, so this is the problem, but we do have a multiple choice question here. And let's take a look at our answers. So A is 10, B is 5, C is 19, and D is 24. All right, so once again, no calculators. But if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy-to-understand way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, we're not going to be using our calculator, so we have a bracket here. 3 minus 11 in parentheses plus 2 times 5 minus 6 in parentheses brackets divided by 8 minus 10 in parentheses. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is B, which is 5. All right, now, if you did not use a calculator and you got this correct, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot all my arithmetic because the last time I was doing this was 1975 or something like that. Well, definitely don't feel bad because uh, most of us would just get our calculators out to do a problem like this. So if you don't practice your basic arithmetic skills, where well, you're going to lose them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a review of what we need to know in order to do this problem. Okay, so here again is our question. And just to kind of uh, you know point out that we are dealing with a multiple choice math question for some, or for some of you out there that still have to take math tests. They're like, MSD2 Math, man, that's me. I still have to take math tests and pass them. Well, if you ever come across a question that you don't know the answer to, or if you don't know how to answer, just take a guess, right? Just be like, oh, I don't know, maybe the answer is 10. Now, of course, if you can eliminate an answer, that is great as well. But uh, never feel bad about taking a guess if you have to. Obviously, it's better if you know the math. But what's uh, worse than ta not taking a guess is leaving a question blank. All right, so here is our problem. And uh, to do this problem without a calculator, there's basically three uh I would say three categories of skills that you need to understand. All right, so let me go ahead and show you those right now. So the first thing is what I have listed as PEMDAS, right? This really is an acronym for something called the order of operations. You got to understand the order of operations to do this problem without a calculator. Now, the second thing that you need to understand is basic number operations, right? In other words, you got to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers. And the last thing that you need to understand is how to work with positive and negative numbers. In other words, how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide positive and negative numbers. Now, I'm not going to review how to uh, work with positive and negative numbers and you know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers in this particular uh, video. That would just take too long. So if you're struggling with any of these things. So let me give you a couple quick suggestions. I have a ton of additional YouTube videos on these topics. Also, you may uh, be interested in my Math Foundations uh, course or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can find links to those in the description of this video. But what I am going to do is review uh, this uh, because this is a very commonly confused part of mathematics, especially basic math, and that is the order of operations. Okay, so what does that mean, this PEMDAS? Well, I'll get to that here in a second. But in mathematics, when you have a problem that has more than one mathematical operation, now what is a mathematical operation? Well, it's things like subtraction or addition. This right here is actually multiplication. So then we have over here division. So this particular problem, we have various mathematical operations. Okay, again, subtraction, addition, multiplication, and division. And if we do this uh, problem in different orders, in other words, maybe we want to uh, divide numbers first and then multiply second and then subtract 
last, or maybe we subtract at, or whatever the case might be, you're going to come up with different answers. So order uh, the way or the order you, in which you do the problem definitely counts, right? So if you take you know different orders, you're going to come up with different values. So obviously, there's only one correct order to do this problem. In other words, there's only one correct series of steps, and that's called the order of operations. Okay, so let's go ahead and review that. And that means we need to understand this acronym called PEMDAS. All right, so obviously this is an acronym. These letters stand for something. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you uh, what this uh, means in just one second. But so you don't forget this little phrase here, I'm going to give you a little memory aid or a mnemonic. It goes like this. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but uh, we thank her uh, for her contributions to mathematics. But anyways, all jokes aside, uh, you need to remember this PEMDAS, right? This is the order of operations. And the way this works is a uh, checklist that goes from left to right. All right, now, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of people think they understand uh, PEMDAS, uh, you know, better than they actually do, right? I can bet you right now, uh, maybe half of you out there, like hey, MSD to Math Man, I'm an expert in PEMDAS, so hurry up, I want to get to the problem. Well, uh, you'll see here in a second that you may not understand the order of operations as well as you think. All right, so let's go ahead and go through this. This is, again, a checklist that uh, we're going to do from left to right. So we start with the first letter, P. So P stands for parentheses. So if you have parentheses in your problem, you're going to start there. But it really means grouping symbols. So you can group uh, numbers together. I'm just going to uh, kind of show you a simple example right here. I can group any two numbers together or any you know, combination of numbers by using parentheses or brackets. So I can maybe group these two numbers together like so, or I can group um, these numbers together like so, which of course is different than uh, 2 and 7, or 2 times 7. I just grouped 7 to 3. So the P stands for whatever you group first, Okay, your parentheses, that's where you start. right? Now you can use parentheses like that, or you can use brackets or even these type of squiggly, uh, squiggly brackets like so, okay? So if your problem doesn't have parentheses, well, you just kind of skip that step. Now, another thing about uh, this step here is that if you have a problem and you have parentheses, then you have brackets, and then you have like maybe some other brackets, the way this works is you go to the innermost parentheses, do what's inside of there first, and then kind of work your way out. Okay, now, not every math problem is going to have parentheses, but if it does, that's where you start. All right, so the next thing here is E. This stands for exponents, but basically you can think of this as powers. So something like 2 to the third power. This little number in the top right is called the exponent part of the power. This 2 is called the base. So 2 to the third power means take 2 and multiply it by itself three times, all right? So this is what a power is. But again, this little number right here is called an exponent. Of course, 2 times 2. Well, that, I wrote a 3 there. A lot of you are probably saying, hey, Mr. Teacher Math Man, be careful. You're making mistakes. Well, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And one thing about what I just did here, right? I wrote the wrong number, but I looked. I caught my error. So when you're doing math, okay, and I'm going to show you here all the math work to the problem that we're working on, you have to kind of take it step by step by step by step and check to see, you know, check your work as you go, basically grade yourself. And if you notice you make an error or you made an error, you can stop and fix it and then continue on. Okay, so that's what E stands for. That's uh, called exponents. Now, not every problem is going to have parentheses or exponents, but if you have them, that's what you're going to do next. All right, now, before I explain the rest of this, let me just tell you what these letters stand for. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, a stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this problem right here. 10 divided by 2 times 5. All right, so 10 divided by 2 times 5. What is the answer? Okay, so what is the answer to this question? So without using your calculator, let's uh, test your knowledge of PEMDAS and everything that I've kind of explained uh, so far. Uh, so 10 divided by 2 times 5, what is the answer? Put that into the comment section, okay? All right, now, if you said, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, the answer is one. All right, so if you answered one, congratulations because you found this video because that is the wrong answer, right? Now, you might be saying, wait a minute here. 
Uh, the next thing we have to do is multiplication. So that's 2 times 5. That's 10. So 10 divided by 10 is 1. You're wrong, Ms. T2 Math Man. Well, uh, not quite. Okay, I'll show you why in a second. So if you answered with 25, right? In other words, if you did the division first, 10 divided by 2, which is 5, and 5 times 5 is 25, well, then you are right. Okay, but let's just make sure you didn't get lucky and understand why 25 is the correct answer to this simple problem. Okay, so again, if you answered wrong, I'm happy that you found this video because this is, this is a very common mistake. So a lot of people think that the way PEMDAS works is that they're going to do any multiplication next, right? Well, it makes sense because this is a checklist that's going from left to right, but this is really not the next step, all right? So what the next step is, is this group right here. It's multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. So if you have a problem that has both multiplication and division, like this problem right here, 10 divided by two times five, you have to say, oh, I have multiplication and division what do I see first from left to right? I see division. So this is what you have to do first, right? So 10 divided by two, of course, is five. And then there's only one operation left to do, which of course is multiplication. All right, so don't feel bad if you didn't really quite understand that. This is a very common source of confusion. And then lastly, addition and subtraction work the same way. It's whatever you see first from left to right. All right, now that you understand the order of operations and PEMDAS, assuming you already know how to work with basic number operations and positive and negative numbers, we can put all this knowledge to work uh, to solve this problem. All right, so we're going to keep our uh, PEMDAS, you know, kind of in our our minds. You can write this down on a piece of paper if you're, you know, kind of learning this stuff. So what you have to do is scan your problem and say, all right, PEMDAS, do I have any parentheses? Well, we have a lot of parentheses here, but we're really thinking about grouping symbols. So it's not just like, hey, do I have parentheses? Do I have brackets or do I have squiggly brackets? And do I have parentheses inside of parentheses or parentheses inside of brackets? Well, we definitely do. So we have these brackets right here. So we have to go inside of these big brackets and we have parentheses here, parentheses here. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. T2 Math Man, what about these parentheses? These are outside of these brackets. Well, actually, you know, technically, it doesn't make a difference. You could do this, and uh, you're not going to, um, you know, harm the problem. But really, we have to notice that we have these brackets. We want to go inside, so we need to focus here. Now, you could do this as well, but we'll just kind of uh, table that for a second, and we'll focus on uh, these uh, parentheses inside of the brackets first. All right, now, uh, once we um, look inside of the brackets, inside of these parentheses, we're just going to scan the problem. Do we have any powers or any exponents? No. So we're going to go ahead and get into it right now. All right. So here is our problem. We have our brackets. So we're inside of our brackets and we're going to uh, do what's inside of these parentheses. So 3 minus 11 is negative 8. All right. So 3 minus 11 is the same thing as 3 plus a negative 11. This is negative 8. Now, if you don't know why that's the answer, of course, you need to review how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers. All right, so here, 5 minus 6 is negative 1. Uh, again, if uh, this doesn't make sense to you, just uh, you know check. I have a ton of uh, videos on positive and negative numbers. It's not that difficult. All right, so we're not taking too many steps at once. So I would suggest um, when you're doing a math problem like this, try to take no more than two steps you know, per line. Okay, so here it's okay to do this and this at the, at the same time. You can even do this, you know, and that would be three steps, but that would be the very, very most. Okay, so here we have five minus six. This is negative one, and the reason I'm not doing this step here is that I just kind of want to take this problem, you know, nice and easy. All right, so now we have negative eight plus two times negative one, and we're, our focus is still inside of these brackets, okay, or this grouping symbol here. So we have negative eight plus, but this is multiplication here. So when we think about PEMDAS, right? So P-E-M-D-A-S, uh, multiplication is always going to uh, uh, go or become first or uh, be ahead of, excuse me, addition, all right? So uh, we have addition here, so we have to do the multiplication. So two times negative one is negative two. Okay, so I need to kind of take a breath here and everyone should just kind of like, look at this problem and make sure you understand what's going on before you take the next step. 
All right, so now we have negative 8 plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 in brackets, okay, divided by 8 minus 10. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and take the next step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I've been on YouTube for like 14 years. Now, really, I haven't been on YouTube for 14 years. I started my channel like 14 years ago, something like that. But uh, in the beginning, I've only posted, you know, uh, those early years, and I have a lot of regret uh, doing so. I kind of just did a little, a little bit here, a little bit there, and my channel really didn't grow much. And I didn't take it all that serious, okay? It wasn't about maybe five, six, seven years ago that I really started putting a lot of effort into my channel. And I really kind of started to reach a lot of people. And, you know, I love YouTube. It's a, it's a fantastic platform for me to teach. But uh, YouTube, or at least my experience with YouTube, is a good kind of reminder, you know, not only for myself, but a lesson that I want to share with you is that in math, it works the same way, okay? In other words, if you're trying to, you know, really be successful in math, if you do a little bit here, a little bit there, you're not going to get that far, all right? It takes time and it takes full immersion and commitment, right? So not unlike my YouTube experience, you know, learning mathematics or being successful in math is a uh, process that, you know, does take time, right? I know a lot of people are like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I only have five days to learn algebra. Can you teach me, you know, algebra in five days? Or I only got one week to learn calculus. Well, listen, it's impossible. And if anyone tells you that, yes, you can learn, you know, all these topics, you can maybe get a uh, basic introduction to them, but you're not going to really understand, right? So if you truly want to learn math, you got to give yourself time and you can definitely do it, but you have to stay committed to it. And the most important thing is clear and understandable instruction. And that's how I try to teach math. But I need your support to continue to, uh, to continue to reach as many people as possible. So the best way you can support this channel is to hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. And if you want to check out my full main math courses, I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video. And the basic math stuff that we're talking about here, you may want to check out, again, my Math Foundations course or maybe my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. So remember, we're still thinking about PEMDAS, right? So do we still have parentheses or grouping symbols? Yes, indeed we do. So we're not done with this step until everything inside of these grouping symbols are, is uh, completed. Now, we're still thinking about the entirety of this um, uh, order of operations, PEMDAS. So this checklist you're kind of cycling through over and over again. It's kind of like a computer program, just kind of like, you know, it's a loop. You know, you're just kind of going back and forth, you know, just checking. So now you're asking yourself, all right, do I have any more powers here? No. Do I have multiplication or division? I do have multiplication or division, but it's outside of the parentheses. Okay, so what I have, what I have um, inside of the grouping symbols or the parentheses is addition and subtraction. All right, so I have negative 8 plus negative 2. That is a negative 10. Again, if you don't understand that, you got to review positive and negative numbers. And then 8 minus 10 is the same thing as 8 plus negative 10, which is negative 2. Okay, now we don't have anything uh, more in, uh, inside of these parentheses or brackets or grouping symbols, so we are kind of basically done with this step here. And there's only one thing left to do, and that is division. All right, so we have a negative divided by a negative. When you have a negative and you're dividing by a negative, the answer is positive, right? So this is not that difficult. So negative 10 divided by negative 2 is a positive 5. Okay, so hopefully this was a good review for a lot of you. And uh, my videos are not designed to make anyone feel bad. If you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you know, uh, you're making me... Uh, you know, not feel too smart here because I should know this basic math stuff. You know, you know, basic math. I think when it comes to ar arithmetic, a lot of people don't give ar arithmetic and basic mathematics their due respect. Right? There is a lot to know, and if you don't practice this stuff, you're going to kind of lose it. Right? So the only way to kind of, you know, uh, you know kind of recapture your skills is to, um, you know, start doing problems again. But before you do problems, you really want to make sure you understand, you know, the concepts behind the problems. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.